about that. Okay, so he kind of failed that one because yeah. he didn't pull in his clutch and his engine stalled. But that's fine. It, was longer, it took longer to stop than the ABS. Yeah, yeah, it did, and it did, right? But he was only using the rear. Yeah, exactly. Huh. And then he'll do once he's in both. was with both okay yeah. I mean obviously you could close the gap little by little and it's we're really not out here to compare distances oh wow that was longer this was shorter this is just to tell you guys that ABS it truly does not work best off-road okay let's say if you was trying to do an emergency stop coming down a hill with ABS on oh my god like good luck I remember when we were doing our training up in Edmonton and what the first day we went out, we were going to this little gravel pit and you had to come down a huge hill to get down to the gravel pit. Well, it had rained and it was super muddy and wet. And of course, one of the fellas behind us had his ABS on. He passed us at like a hundred miles an hour down this hill. Like, whoa, I just couldn't stop. Probably squeezing with all his might. Luckily, he didn't crash at the bottom, but you know, that was an eye-opener for us. Like, whoa, and at the bottom, he was freaked out. Like, I was squeezing as hard as I could, and, you know, you can't fight the ABS, so. Anyhow. If you're a, JR, you're on a, a, say, a long road, gravel road. Okay? Yep. Long time. Uh, would you leave it on or off? Uh, Just you know what? Gravel, like, but not okay, if you're asking me this, I would have it off. If I purchase a bike with ABS, I would turn it off no matter what. But that's just a confidence thing, right? And maybe it'd be something you'd almost want to play with. Richard, what would you use on the gravel road? I leave it on. He leaves it on. There yeah. you go. Yeah. 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 I leave it on, but there's no way I'm hammering the rear brake. Yeah. There is no way. So it's all front, eh? Yeah, because if I hammer the rear brake, it renders the front brake ineffective. And suddenly it'll start to speed up on me. So what I do is I'm gradual with it. I'll apply front brake and rear brake, but very gentle so I don't lock it, uh, so I don't have it uh, released. But the front brake is where all my power is. Yeah. In, in a corner, release, right? Let go of the front brake. So all your braking should be done well before the corner. But that's another thing altogether. Sure, of course. You see, like, ABS, it sounds like, yeah, it, it really could work for you, or peace of mind, it is a safer way because you know your wheels aren't going to lock up. But actually, sometimes you need more for that control. If you just had a little bit more brake, you could have saved it or you could have redirected. You didn't have enough to do what you want, right? Yeah. So it could work both ways. It really could. Like sometimes I come in and I need to really quickly jolt my rear end and the only way i could do that is by locking it you know yeah. well abs if i try doing that and i could be going like this all day the rear end wouldn't be going anywhere it won't work so it's uh, it's all uh something so to play with abs works very well if you don't apply on dirt if you don't apply a handful and a foot full of brake because then you're going to cause it to release if you're gradual with it, ABS is amazing. V-Stroms, they don't make them where you can take it off or, or shut it down. But it's only gradual to a certain it's point. Exactly. That's what I mean. When you yeah. need more and it's not there, that's yeah. the pain. Then it's the problem. Yeah. Right? So, but you get used to riding, and then what I would entice you to do is go find a patch of dirt and play with your brakes. Experiment with it. Straight line. Okay, good. For this exercise, when we have you guys go line up